exactly the same. And something that is all exactly the same as the Unreal 4 is the damage system. Just to get the basics right, anything that I can drag and drop inside the level is an actor. And every actor can receive damage. So let's apply some damage. I will go to my gun component because now the gun component is the one that does all the tracing. And let, let me remove any code that it's been uh, replaced. Let's just do a little cleanup. There it is. Oh, and, and it's good to comment stuff. Just press C and fire input. This is gun component setup. And in my gun component, I need to apply damage to something. I don't know what did I hit, but if I hit it something, I need to apply damage to it. So, like I said, any actor can receive damage. Then I will ask which, which actor did I hit. I will do an apply damage. Because it's a, a bullet, it's probably fine to use the point damage. Apply damage is a generic type of damage, but my point damage would be more appropriate. Apply point damage. I'm gonna put it like this for now. Oh, let's no. I'm gonna use a, more more info from from here. I need a base damage. We have the damage right here. I need a hit from direction. We can get that that direction. The same way we we got the other direction for from where to look like this from the start to the end perfect the hit info is this same hit info so now is when the wires get a little messy so we need to, to try to keep it as clean as possible. The event instigator is a controller that is responsible of the damage and the damage causer is the actor. So if we later needed to implement some stuff like, for example, uh, where can I draw, was it here? For example, if player one killed the player two, the event instigator would be the player one. And if I want to show here which gun killed the player two, then I would get the damage causer, the actor that did the damage. So the damage causer is this same class, so it will be so. And this is not an actor. Hmm. For now, let's put our owner. Get owner. And in the event is instigator, then we can. Well, it's also the owner. So for now, well, the controller of the owner. Controller get. Get oh, there isn't a get controller. Oh, I'm gonna cast it to a character because uh, and maybe a pawn would be a lot more generic. Let cast cast it to a pawn, and now we can use this as oh, well. Get controller now, we can get the controller event instigator and because I would not use this component in anything other than a pound or well I don't I do not know really so let's let's just put the cast here it will mess a lot of things 
but it's really not that big of a deal. Let's do it like this. And let's fix my wires again. Yeah, something like, like that can work. Not gonna complain too, too much about it. So now, uh, we do not need to set up a damage class. Uh, this would be, if, uh, for example, we had a fi fire damage or piercing damage, maybe. But by applying this point damage, now any actor that uses this code, for example, is called um, any damage or point damage or radi radial damage that, well, radial damage is done more for uh, grenades or explosions. Then if we use this event, this event will trigger whenever the current actor has received damage. So let's create the target now that our gun now does damage. Oh, and just a quick tip. If my damage is zero, this won't trigger. Just keep that in mind. It, it has happened to me before that. Uh, why is the damage is not applying? Uh, and I try to debug it and it isn't even registering. Then it's because the damage was zero. You saved someone like one day of debugging. Yeah. <laughs> so now. Uh, I need a target. I'm going to put it like here. New folder, game objects. So maybe an artist like yourself can give me a better target. Blueprint. Actor. And I'm going to call if it... If you Blue pay. What? If you pay me. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I can pay you in marketplace assets. In one iconic. Fair enough. <laughs> so now we need a target. The classic target is a cylinder. Oh, this was, wasn't it. Cycle. No cycle. Cylinder. Cylinder. Here it is. Gonna rotate it again. Gonna scale it. And here is my target. Uh, I should call it static mesh target. Now I can put it in my map. Uh, let's put it here and I'm gonna duplicate it and also like this by default it should work it should collide with it but I want it to disappear whenever I hit it so our way of doing it is by using the damage we're applying for example, here in my event graph, I can right click it and ask for the point damage, event point damage, that's the type of damage we're applying. If we used any damage, it will work also, but it will not give me all this information. Let's use the damage and if the damage is greater than zero, that it will definitely will be, then we just destroy this. We just destroy the actor. Play. And there it is. We can take it a little bit further. We can make it so whenever we receive damage, we 
activate some collisions, some, uh, some physics. So I can remove that, that part, it will trigger anyway. I'm gonna drag and drop that, this static mesh and I'm gonna put set physics and it should be enable gravity, no, set simulate physics, here it is. Let's, let's ask it to simulate and we need to do a little thing before this is blocking all the dynamic. Let's see if it works. If we, I don't need to change anything. Yeah, it works. Using this information also, we can add some impulse. Let's add some impulse. Add impulse. Add location. What's the location? Well, we have the hit location. What's the impulse? Well, we have the direction of the shot. So we can multiply that by some number. Let's call it um, impulse or oh, force. Load. And this force right now is zero but we can crank it up to maybe 2000. Play. And it may be too little. Let's wrap it up to 10,000 over 900, no, over 9,000. And now we have it like simulating. But this